man, that is a lot of car engine sounds. I feel like excessively, even. Like, I don't know if all the car sounds would be that fucking loud. Ow! Why the fuck did you hit me? I didn't do that! He drove into me! Hello there, minions. It's Wheezy. Welcome to Forza Motorsport. I figured, since it's gonna throw me right into the game, we just released, cathedrals of I guess because I pre-ordered, even though I have it a free on Game Pass, I paid money by passion. to get extra features in Forza, because I love sim Driven racers. You may have seen my Gran Turismo videos recently, but Forza Motorsport is out! And we're gonna jump into it, so I figured to bring you along for the ride. So let's take a look. Enjoy the beauty of every Forza Motorsport. Celebrate every second found. Beautiful. And discover who we are at the limit. Welcome to a new era of motorsport. A new era. Welcome to Forza. Forza. Now, if you guys haven't been around, you don't realize I am a huge Ferrari fan. So for me, racing games like this are kind of like race to Ferrari. <laughs> How quickly can I get my first Ferrari and start driving Ferraris every race I possibly can? So let's do Forza Motorsport Road to Ferrari. <laughs> Uh, so I think it's gonna throw us probably right into a tutorial race. Uh, and... Yeah, let's just jump into that. Looks like it's gonna throw us in this here Corvette. And we're gonna have some fun. Maple Valley. I believe this is one of the Forza made-up maps. As in, not a real map, but pretty. Not a real track, rather. Valley is the perfect track to put the new Corvette E-Ranger in pace. It's not a race, but you won't be alone out there, so keep an eye out for traffic. Not a race, huh? The race line is your optimal path on track. When it's blue, be on the gas. When it's red, hit those brakes. Oh man, I've been playing a lot of Gran Turismo 7, so not having the adaptive triggers is a really weird. Break before the turn. Coast through it, then accelerate as you exit. Oh, you're teaching me how to drive. That's cute. I've got this set for manual transmission. I've got the driving line off. If you guys are new to Forza, there's a lot of really helpful assists that Forza has available that are fantastic. Uh, like driving lines and braking lines. I've got all that turned off. So, uh, don't let that intimidate you if maybe you're not, you know, if you're relatively new to sim racers and you want to get into this. Oh my goodness. So right out of the gate, it doesn't feel or look nearly as good as Gran Turismo 7. Just, the main reason it doesn't feel as good as Gran Turismo 7 is because the PS5 controller with the haptics and the uh, uh, adaptive triggers is just so incredible. But the driving does feel great. This feels like what I expect from Forza. It is simulation. It's not a race, but I think I passed everyone. That's just a taste. Is that what I was supposed to do? Session with light traffic. Now let's see what the final laps of an endurance race is like against a full field of competition. Next stop, Hakone, Japan. All right, so it's like, okay, now you know where the gas pedal and the brake pedal are. 
Now let's put you in a full-fledged racing car. And let you have at it. I like these intros. It's fucking cool. Bum. 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 Woo! Clip that wall. Alright, so it looks like I got a mixture of formulas here. Just one last pit stop for fresh tires, and you'll be in a great position for the final push. Nobody in an endurance race would pit before the last two or three laps. But alright. Track is clear to the left. Get on it. Ooh. Man, so low to the ground. I gotta be extra cautious with these turns because I don't really know these tracks. And I have the driving line turned off. The main reason I turn the driving line off, even when I don't know the tracks yet, is because it's like driving with a GPS. If I leave the driving line on, I never learn the track, I use it as a crutch. So by turning the driving line off, it forces me to watch the road. This thing can break super late, obviously, because it's a race car, so... I can be a little bit more aggressive here on these lower formula cars. There is a decent amount of, like, feedback from rumble in the controller, but it's just not the same as the PS5's haptics. It just isn't. It's a different league entirely. But I do have a racing wheel for Forza on the way, so lap, lap. all of that will be moot. Don't let that make you think that you need a racing wheel to enjoy a sim racing game. I have been playing Sim Racers since I was a literal child, and I've always used controllers. Very rarely, if ever, have I used racing wheels, and I've always loved Sim Racers, so you can absolutely play the shit out of it, enjoy, and learn a lot from Sim Racers just using a controller. I was doing the time trials, the new time trials in Gran Turismo 7 that are for the new Honda cars in there, and the Honda time trials have a survey that you have to fill out, for like a registration, and it asks you some marketing questions. But one of the things it asks is, how long have you been playing Gran Turismo? And I looked it up, because I was like, well, I've been playing since the original Gran Turismo came out. And I was like, when was that? 1997. Which means that my answer to how long have you been playing Gran Turismo, meaning sim racers, is 26 years. I have been playing simulation racing games for 26 years. Great race. I'm an old man. I wasn't really kind of pushing super hard on that. Where did I end up? <laughs> I wasn't even watching. I was just driving because sim driving is so... Just the driving experience is fantastic. Oh my god. I'm so excited for a new Forza game. I didn't have an Xbox One. Like, for most of Xbox One's life cycle. From open practice runs to so, I didn't get races. really Forza 6 That's or Forza 7 until I got my Series ready X and played them on Game Pass. Journey? I am ready to begin my Forza Motorsport journey. Thank you. Do I push a button, or am I just watching this pretty car? Cadillac. Let's gear up for your new racing career. I got tits. Let's take the tits off, please. I mean, I kind of appreciate the default assumption that I'm a girl, I suppose, but know your audience, Forza, come on. All right, orange and black. That's probably the closest so far. Rainbowy color. I actually do like that. That's fucking... That's not bad. I like that. Purper is always a good choice. The VIP gold. Ooh, this in orange and black would be fucking sweet. If it's like the other Forza games, they will add, you know, additional driver suit liveries going forward, but... Yeah. 
Look at that. Just throwing achievements at me. Uh, uh. This journey, from the showroom floor to the winner's circle. Is this guy's the voice is fantastic. A thousand little decisions. Every a thousand part, little decisions. Every detail. All carefully chosen by great builders Beautiful. who know what it takes to push a car past its perceived limitations. Yes. To find fantastic. that extra tenth of a second. Ferrari! Ooh, that's a Testarossa. Testarossa, the redhead. Do I get to choose one of these? Probably not. These are a little higher level. Your car is starting out. Give me that champion, Subaru, baby! The WRX. It out, uh, to wheel, uh, race day. I hate Mustangs. <laughs> so much. <laughs> I have hated Mustangs since I was started basically playing Gran Turismo, or basically since I saw stupid kids series, in high school wrapping around trees. That Honda Each is pretty is sweet too, but to build. just give me the WRX. Yep, yeah, the WRX. That's I don't even have to look. The STI. So that's 2019. Yeah, they stopped making the STI. The limited edition STI 209 may be the greatest high-performance Subaru of all time. Its compact turbocharged <sighs> engine and all-wheel drive system is perfect for epic acceleration and remarkable handling. I mean, the Subaru baby. Give it to all me. All right, let's go. The Honda would be a, I wouldn't say a close second, but not a distant second. Here is where you create your best possible racing experience for the difficulty third. and rule set. Yeah. As your racing skills evolve, try raising the difficulty to earn even more credits to buy other cars. We'll start out about here, just because I've been doing this a while. I don't really necessarily like battling for positions, so I try to keep the difficulty low to balance winning with earning money. I like having rewind as a little bit of a crutch. It's nice to not go through like a 10 lap race and hit a wall on lap nine and just kind of fuck yourself. Do we bump this up? Because it's got how many settings? Eight. So four is like halfway. 40% bonus. Let's do that. So if I find I'm struggling too much for position because I'm just trying to relax and drive, I can turn the difficulty down. Sometimes it's nice to just get up front and front run the whole race and just do laps and chill rather than trying to make sure you're ducking and weaving between cars and battling for every last second. If I'm like really in the mood to dial in, we'll do that. I've set a target lap time for you. If you struggle to achieve the lap time, consider changing the difficulty settings before the race. Now let's get after it. Tuning is all about making small incremental changes to a car's setup, testing them out on track I mean, practice and dialing okay. it in. Some upgrade parts include more tuning options. Can adjust tire pressures. Wow, that's I've never seen a I've never seen that in a game before where you can set tire pressures. Now all of this is pretty standard I've seen from Gran Turismo and I think Forza over the years, but Forza, is, I've never really felt the need in Forza games to get into tuning much. Like, and most of the tuning that I do in Gran Turismo games is swapping out parts. Driving style, track conditions, and race length are key factors in determining our initial fuel and tire strategy. Do I mean, we take limited yeah. fuel and soft tires for a light and fast car, or push a late lap pit strategy with a full tank and harder tires? Teams must weigh the cost benefits of each decision. We'll That's cool. We'll around with the setup to find the best combination for each event. This could be... If, you, if I was, like, really, like, looking for, like, race strategy and not just... The thing I really don't like about Gran Turismo 7 right now... ...is a critical part of any race event where you hone your skills... With ...is it just dumps you right into the race and it's always a rolling start. You're always in last place. And we'll be tracking I forget to see how you match up when that changed... In Gran Turismo games, at least, I forget when you could do that. I don't know if it was all the way back in Gran Turismo 3 or 4 or something like that. But before the race, you could do qualifying laps, and not only would that warm you up on the track, but your qualifying lap time would determine where you are in the grid at the start of the race, which is how actual racing works. So this seems to be basically doing a practice session. So we can learn the track, practice a little bit. Man, the car's a lot louder than the voices. Oh, 
Oh, good. It still does the feedback on turns and stuff. Oh, a little hot into that one. Oh, these tires are not super grippy. Lighting is nice. It's only giving me three laps to hit the target time, okay. We achieved our target time with that last lap. Great oh. work. That was not a good lap. There, see, this is where rewind is, is good. I don't know this track, so I overcooked that turn. Which way does the track go? Jesus Christ, I hate when tracks have those branching paths and I don't know which way it's going. Audio is um, is fantastic. The skittering tires. Ooh, that's good. Do not know this track. All right, let's see if we can get a hot lap. I still don't really know the track all that well. Well, let's see what we can do. Audio is this audio is better than Gran Turismo 7. The tire skittering, the sounds of the curbs. Okay, right through there. What do we got? Required practice laps complete. 106. Feel free to end practice at any time or continue running hot laps until the session time's out. 10 minutes for the session time. We'll do one more lap. Just to kind of make sure that we at least have an idea of the track. I don't have all my gear shifts or braking points or anything like that figured out, but... But I can get around the track without running off for the most part now, so that's good. Oh, still thought I was in third. Oops. Coming into that too shallow. Okay, one more. better line here. Did I just rank the car up? What was that? Oh, 
Oh my god, the chittering tires are fantastic. I love it. Oh, it's beautiful. All right, we're going to finish this hot lap. And then the next one, we're just going to come into the pits. Because that's the right way to end a, a practice session. It's in the pit lane. How'd that go? Mm. Cut off almost nine tenths. Yeah, tires bark. I'm still leaving plenty of time on the track here. Oh, yeah. Not carrying nearly enough speed through there. Look out, Camaro! Yeah, give it to me. into the pit lane there. That Camaro's swerving its way in. Time to race. Let's do it. I'm so glad I got a Subaru right out of the gate. Although, my first car ever was a 1991 Subaru Legacy. It's shaped like a doorstop. It's a stacked field today for this first event. So I've always been kind of a Subaru fan. That said, before race starts. My current car. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, look at that. Best lap time 105, 106. Okay. So I'm 7, P7. Did it just arbitrarily stick me there? It doesn't seem to be by lap time. So my best lap time was 105.1. So I'm looking pretty good. That's cool. Uh, yeah, my current car is actually a Mitsubishi Lancer, though. Just because when I needed to buy a car to replace my Hyundai Tiburon, uh, that was what was in my price range. An equivalent to Subaru WRX was a good two or three thousand more. So I have a Mitsubishi Lancer currently. It's beautiful though. I still love it. All right, boys. Man, that is a lot of car engine sounds. I feel like excessively even. Like, I don't know if all the car sounds would be that fucking loud. Ow! Why the fuck did you hit me? Clean out there. Stay aggressive. I didn't do that! Any shortcuts off track. He drove into me! Penalties that could hurt our chances at a top finish. Total time penalty is about half a second. That motherfucker ran into me. Oh my god, look at the damage on that car. That's beautiful. So I think it's the color palette that I'm maybe less of a fan of. It looks a little more cartoony maybe than photorealistic, like Gran Turismo. But man, that car damage looked good. How many laps we got? Four? All right. So, I mean, if you're really want to dial up the difficulty on these games and really do precise sim racing, which is great. You basically need to have hours of experience on these tracks so that you know all the best racing lines, all the right points for shifting, for your whatever car it is too. So the car matters, not just the track. Car level four, all right. 
Is that just for putting miles on the car? I need to understand how that works. Second place. All right, let's chase down the leader. Oh, definitely came in too slow for that corner. sure I'm gonna oh I got two laps left so I still got a chance to catch him but I am not reeling him in all that fast I actually need solid laps at this difficulty to catch this guy one more finish strong That's a fourth, that's a fourth gear turn, so I'm losing a lot of speed in that. What is that for? Alright. Ugh, I am not gonna reel this guy in, I don't think. Alright, I may have to dial the difficulty down because that was not an ugly race and I don't want to be racing for P2 from 7th. Not bad though. Best lap, 104. So I had the hot lap and gained 5 positions. Which means if I hadn't started P7, that's a victory. And that guy had a higher performance index on his car all right still that was that was fun so maybe it is you know what maybe this is what i want maybe i'll need to win every race oh is this a series oh so i just gotta kind of be consistent here all right we'll start with a p2 builders cup event number one good show wind stinks Weezy? JKM Joke? I kind of wish it would just give them real people names. I, I wonder, I can probably change that. Because I don't, I really don't like the As random people's up, gamer tags in my game. Can use to increase vehicle performance. Cool. I unlocked rim style. Tire width. Rim size. Anti-sway bars. So does this mean this is these are things I'm allowed now to adjust without buying parts? You know what? Let's throw up the pretty replay here and call this good for a first intro to Forza Motorsport before it gets too crazy long. But I gotta say, I'm really loving it already. And I'm gonna have to figure out how to juggle time between this and Gran Turismo, although to be fair, I've finished a lot of Gran Turismo's events, so. I'm gonna throw you guys into the beautiful replay and I'll see you guys in the next one. See, that motherfucker ran into me!